Hello everyone, welcome to my lesson for Cicada by Silverchair. I believe this is the last song I have left to cover on the Frog Stomp album, you can correct me if I'm wrong. But um, anyway, there's uh, nothing special about the tuning in the song, it's actually uh, standard tuning this time. So tune your guitar to standard tuning, and uh, let's get to the riffs. Okay, so for this one, I'm just going to sort of break the song down into its individual riffs, and then you'll be able to... Uh, place them wherever you need to place them for the song because I tried to do this song yesterday and, and it just got really confusing trying to go through the song from start to finish and I figured it would be a lot more efficient just to show you the riffs and then you'd be able to sort of copy and paste um, with the song anyway so we'll get started with the intro and the intro is actually a collection of probably three different riffs. So we'll start with the first one. I'll play it through and then I'll show you what I did. So it starts off with a, an E power chord, which is open low E and 2nd fret A string, 2nd fret D string. So you can bar them with your first finger if you like. And then you're going to hit the uh, 2 on the A and D individually while the chord rings out. Then lift your finger off the chord, hit open low E and open D. Then you're going to go to 3rd fret low E and 2nd fret A and play the low E, then the A, then the D. Low E again, but slide it up to 5. And your first finger should be on 4 on the A string. And you just go... So... Um, So you're just kind of walking up and down the uh, strings. And so slowly, all together, it should, like it's a repeating riff, so slowly it should sound like this. So that's the first part of the intro, and the second part we'll move on to now. And the second part just consists of three chords, really. So it's the uh, E power chord that I mentioned earlier, and a G chord, which is going to be third fret on the low E, mute the A string with your finger, and then third fret B and third fret high E. And then the last chord is an A sus2, I think. Something like that. Yeah, A sus2. So it's um, open A string, uh, second fret D string, second fret G string, like so, and strum from the A string down. And then that part repeats. So uh, it should sound like this. Part of the intro is very simple. It's just two chords, and they'll be played um, on the low E and A strings. You're going to borrow with your first finger, and the D and G strings you're going to cover two frets above. So it'll be third fret on the low E and A, fifth fret on the D and G, like so, and then slide that up two frets. So I'm just going to play um, one repeat of each riff so you can see how they kind of sound together. Okay. 
So, all together, those three riffs make up the intro, and um, it's just the varied number of repeats. Like the first riff will repeat three times, the second riff will repeat uh, four times, and the last riff is just once. So hopefully that uh, gets you through the intro. So we'll move on to the verse riff. Now the verses are usually made up of two to three riffs, but this is the main one for the verses. So you're going to start at the second fret of the D string, and then hit the B in high E open, then go down to the first fret D string and repeat that. Then uh, first fret D, and then open D, and then you're going to play second fret of the G string, third fret of the B string this time. So once again, second fret D, so that's how it should sound so far. And then the last part is just uh, a power chord, so open A string, second fret D and G. So, all together slowly, it should sound like this. And that riff repeats, so you'll hear that a fair amount through the verses. And then, <clears throat> so the next riff will be uh, more for ends of verses and fillers and stuff. So we'll, we'll do that next. So this riff is going to be like a walking down riff, and it's going to use the same chords as the end of the intro, or the same style chords. So, uh, But this time you're going to start on 7 on the low E and A, and 9 on the D and G. So you're going to walk that down one fret at a time, like so. So you're going to go, yeah, 7, 6, 5, 4, and then hold on 3. And slide it back up to 5. So that's that second riff. I'll just play it again slow so you get it. So that appears a few different places in the song, I think, but uh, you'll be able to place that where you need it. So moving along, uh, we'll get to another uh, riff that's used in the verses. So this riff is used in the second verse and on and off in the second verse, and I think throughout the third verse completely. So anyway, you'll recognize this when you hear it. I'll just play it through and then I'll show you what I did. <laughs> So it's a simple, this time we're walking up, and it's going to be all palm mutes. So you start with the uh, E power chord, which is open, low E, 2 on the A. Then F sharp, which is 2 and 4. Then uh, G, which is 3 and 5. Then A, which is 5 and 7. So all together slowly, it should sound like this. So this next riff you usually hear before the chorus starts, like directly before the chorus, and it's just three chords. You're going to start at uh, uh, 7 on the low E and A and 9 on the D and G, but instead of walking down one fret at a time, we're going to go from 7 to 5, and then we're going to drop our 3rd and 4th fingers down one string. So you're going to go from like that. So it's just, like I said, uh, 7 and 9 to 5 and 7. Well, let me put it this way. It'll be 7, 7, 9, 9 to 5, 5, 7, 7 to 5, 7, 7. 
<clears throat> and then that moves into the chorus. So the chorus riff we've actually covered as part of the intro, but I'll play it for you again just so you recognize it. It's that riff. So you'll know how to play the chorus. So with that, we've covered everything uh, in the verses and chorus and intro. So let's move along to the guitar solo and we'll start with the rhythm. So the rhythm behind the guitar solo is pretty simple. You're going to start with the uh, A power chord, which is open A string, and then two on the D, two on the G. So you're going to play this, you're going to go from A to C, which is three, five, and five, to D, which is five, seven, and seven. So you're going to play them like this. So that's the underlying rhythm behind the guitar solo. So, I guess we will move along to the guitar solo itself. So I'll break the solo up into probably three or four parts, so it'll be easier, but it's not a, an extremely difficult guitar solo, I suppose, as guitar solos go. But we're going to start at the fifth fret of the G string and bend it up a half step. So. Like so, and then we're gonna palm mute seven five seven on the D string, and then hit seven again with some vibrato. So slowly, it should sound like this all together. The next part of the solo is gonna start. Um, on 7 on the D string and you're gonna sort of bend those up gradually now you're gonna try to bend them with just the one finger so one's gonna bend farther than the other I find now that might be difficult um, but really it's it's a sloppy solo anyway so it doesn't really matter getting this spot on but you're gonna bend uh, seven on the uh, G and B strings and then just kind of bend seven on the G string by itself so um, yeah you're gonna Bend it on the G string, up a full step or so, and it's sort of, you, you would uh, bend it up and release, pull off to 5 on the G, and then drop down to 7 on the D. So that part of the solo together should sound like this, or something similar anyway. That was a bit sloppy, but you get the idea. So for the next part of the solo, you're going to go all the way up to the 19th fret on the, uh, on the G string. And you're going to bend that up a full step. You're going to keep that bent and you're going to be tremolo picking it. Obviously not that long, but you would bend it up, tremolo pick it. And a 
that you will release it and go to 17, hammer on to 19, and back to 17. And then go down to the D string, 19, pull off to 17, back to 19. And you're gonna hit the open uh, G string a few times and, and go to the second fret with some vibrato. Whoops. G, uh, yeah, G string. So, that part of the solo should sound something like this. Something like that, anyway. And the last little bit of the solo is just going to be um, 5 on the B string. Hammer on to 6 and pull off back to 5. 7 on the G string. 5, 4. So hopefully, um, you'll be able to put those sections of the guitar solo together to make something coherent. And uh, we'll move along to the interlude after the solo. Alright, so the interlude after the, guitar, after the guitar solo is a fairly easy walk-up riff. And it's just going to be on the A and D strings. So you're going to go 1 and 3. And you're going to walk that grip up from 1 to 2 to 3. And then at the end... You're going to go 5 on the low E, 5 on the A, 7 on the D, 7 on the G. So it should be played in this fashion, I'll show you here. So you're going to palm mute the first few notes. Play it once, palm mute again. Yeah, you, you, if when I play it slow, you'll sort of catch on to the rhythm anyway. It's hard for me to explain, but... After that, you're going to play a variation of the chorus riff. So, you remember the chorus riff? Well, we're going to play that only we're going to we're going to use uh slightly different uh looking chords but they they should sound similar anyway so for the e power chord you're still going to do the power chord part on the bottom but now on the top so our our first finger is going to bar the second fret um a d and g strings or at least a and d strings the g string you're going to go to the fourth fret and the B string, you're going to go to the 5th fret. And mute the high E. So, it's basically just a big, full uh, E power chord. Now, if you keep that grip, but just play the top three strings, except for the muted high E, of course, um, that's going to serve as the next part. So you just slide that grip up to the 5th fret, and just play the um, D, G, and B strings. So you slide it up to five and then slide it up to seven. And that's your chorus style riff anyway. So it should sound pretty close. Okay, so the only thing left to show you is the slight variation um, near the end of the song, so we'll go to that next. So the last riff that I have to show you is just going to be this. I'll just play it and then I'll explain it. So it's another variation of the chorus riff. Uh, e power chord and palm mute the low E then you're gonna go third fret uh, low E and open 
and then A power chord. And repeat. And that is all the riffs of the song. So hopefully uh, that made sense to you and, and you'll be able to sort of stitch them together as they appear through the song. Uh, I think it was a lot easier to explain the song this way than to try to go through it uh, minute by minute basically. So let me know what you thought of the lesson anyway. Um, as always, I appreciate you guys watching and thank you very much. And uh, I'll see you next time. Take it easy guys.